In this video, we're going to graph functions that have a specific domain, okay? Uh, so the class goals here, uh, we're going to evaluate functions for given values of x, just like we did in the previous section. Uh, we're going to, once we evaluate those functions, we're going to construct a table of values uh, for the functions. And again, the domain's got to be specific. And then we're going to graph the function. Uh, we're going to have ordered pairs in the form x, comma, y. And we're going to plot those points and graph the function, okay? Our first function is y equals 3x minus 1. And the domain is specified as negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. So if you'll think back earlier in this unit, domain corresponds with the independent variable, and the independent variable here is x, okay? So negative 2 is going to be my first value, 0 will be my second value, 2 will be next, and then we're going to end up with 4, okay? Because the domain is specified, no other values for x uh, can be plugged into this function, all right? So let's evaluate for negative 2. So when x equals negative 2, Okay, we're gonna, we've got 3 times that x value, negative 2, minus 1. Okay, let us clean that up a little bit. Uh, we get y equals negative 6 minus 1, which is negative 7. Okay, so when x is negative 2, y is negative 7. So we're going to plug in negative 7 there. Okay, now this is my x value. This is my y value. So we're going to write that as an ordered pair, and that'll be negative 2 comma negative 7. All right, so let's try the next part. When x is 0, we're going to plug that in for x into our function. y equals 3x minus 1. Clean that up a little bit. That gives us y equals 0 minus 1, so y equals negative 1. Okay, so when x is 0, y is going to be negative 1. We want to write this as an ordered pair, and we're going to plot that a little bit later. So that represents uh, the ordered pair 0, negative 1. Okay, uh, let's evaluate the function when x equals 2. So we're going to plug in 2 for x, 3 times 2 minus 1. Clean that up, we get y equals 6 minus 1, which is positive 5. Okay, so when x equals 2, y equals 5. So we're going to plug 5 into our table, and then we're going to write this as an ordered pair, 2 comma 5. All right, and finally we're going to plug in 4 to the function. So when x equals 4, we get 3 times 4 minus 1, which is 12 minus 1, which simplifies to 11, okay? So let's plug that into the table. So when x equals 4, y equals 11, and that's going to be the last ordered pair, okay? Uh, so now we want to plot these four points. We're going to graph those. We're not going to connect the dots. Again, it's only over these four values. So it's just going to be a graph with four ordered pairs. It's going to be a scatter plot. Okay, so let's plot those points now. So we got the ordered pairs negative 2, negative 7, 0, negative 1, 2, comma, 5, and 4, comma, 11. Okay, so we're going to plot those points, and that'll be the graph of this function with that specific domain. Okay, so the first point, negative 2, negative 7, that means we're going to go left 2 and down 7, and we're going to put an ordered pair right there. Okay. Next point is going to be 0, negative 1. So 0 means we don't go left or right at all. Negative 1 means we go down one unit. So that's that point. 2, comma 5, so we go right 2, and then 5 is positive, so we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the last point, 4, comma 11, we're going to go right 4 units, up 11. That's a little bit off the graph up here. That's not a big deal, okay? So that's going to be the graph of the first function, y equals 3x minus 1 with a domain of negative 2, 0, 2, and 4, okay? Again, you don't want to connect those dots because the domain was only those four values. So it's not going to be a line here. It's just going to be a scatter plot, okay? So let's move on to number 2. So pause the video right here, and let's try problem number 2 on your own, okay? Try it, uh, and then come back and see if you've done your work correctly. Okay, um, our function this time is y equals negative 2x plus 5. Our domain here is going to be the same. It's negative 2, 0, 2, and 4, okay? So we're going to evaluate this function for these four values. Again, the domain corresponds to x, the independent variable. Uh, so let's go ahead and start evaluating. So when x equals negative 2, that gives us negative 2 times negative 2 plus 5, okay? Clean that up a little bit. We get y equals 4 plus 5, which is 9, okay? So when x equals negative 2, 
y equals 9. Write that as an ordered pair, and that gives us negative 2 comma 9. All right? When x equals 0, okay, we're going to replace x with 0. Clean that up a little bit. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, okay? And that gives us 0 plus 5, which is positive 5. So when x equals 0, y equals 5, okay? Again, as or in ordered pair form, this would be 0 comma 5. So that's going to be the second ordered pair we've got uh, for this function with this domain. All right, let's plug in 2. Okay, when x equals 2, we get negative 2 times 2 plus 5. So y equals negative 4 plus 5, which simplifies to positive 1. Okay, negative 4 plus 5 is 1. So when x equals 2, y equals 1. Okay. Write this as an ordered pair, we get 2 comma 1. All right, one more point to go. Let's plug in 4. When x equals 4, we get negative 2 times 4 plus 5. Uh, let's simplify. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then when I combine negative 8 and positive 5, I get negative 3. So when x equals 4, y equals negative 3. Write that as an ordered pair, and we get 4, negative 3. Okay? Now we're going to graph uh, the function with this domain. We're just going to plot these four points. Again, we're not going to connect those. Uh, this is going to be a scatter plot because our domain only includes these four values, not every real number. Okay? So for the function in number 2, y equals negative 2x plus 5 with a domain of negative 2, 0, 2, and 4, we came up with the four ordered pairs, negative 2, 9, 0, 5, 2, 1, and 4, negative 3. Okay? We want to plot those points, and that'll be the graph of this function with that domain. Okay, so negative 2 comma 9, we're going to go left 2. We're going to go up 9 units, and we're going to put a point there. Okay, next point is 0, 5, so don't go left to right any. Go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, third point is 2 comma 1, so right 2, up 1. And the final point is right 4, down 3. 4, negative 3, so right 1, 2, 3, 4, down 1, 2, 3. Okay. Again, we're not going to connect those dots because it's only those four values in the domain. Okay, So that's the graph of the function in number two.